Motoring along on the Lake of Mentith and the sun is in the sky. <laughs> All our eyes on the distant horizon as the fish go swimming by. Don't mind the weather as long as we are all together. So we're sailing along on the Lake of Mentith and the world is ours. <laughs> Stan, we're here at uh, Lake of Menteith. It's mm -hmm. uh, late March. Uh, I want to welcome you to the Hoop UK team. You're the uh, you're going to be joining us on our trout adventures. Hopefully, mm -hmm. catching some crackers along the way. Uh, we're going to head out today. Uh, tell us a lot about your tactics and what you're going to fish. Well, I'm hoping that it's going to be uh, fine tactics. Uh, that we might catch some fish on buzzers and cormorants, dalbachs. But it's cold. Very cold. You can see the snow on the hills. Uh, it's windy. Uh, it may have to be slightly less uh, delicate tactics. Um, could be a midge tip, but it's more likely to be fast glass, uh, sort of a slow sink line. We'll see when we get out there, Greg. Yeah, you know. Absolutely. Well, if you're doing that, I'll do the opposite and go down, and we'll uh, we'll see how we can, yeah. how we get on. But That's... it's the first of the season, so without it, there'll be some nice overwinter fish getting caught. Yeah. And there'll be some plenty stock fish as well. So oh, we, we should we should have a good bit of sport. The early days on Menteith are always good, regardless of the conditions. You always get fish on the early days. Uh, it's been untroubled. It's not been disturbed, uh, and the fish are usually quite cooperative. But if it was this sort of weather a few weeks further into the season, it would be very, very hard work. So yeah. let's go and see yeah. what we can do. Absolutely, Sam. Let's okay. do that. Good okay. stuff. Okay. One or two points I was going to make. Um, you have all paid for this, uh, so thanks a lot. We like it. I hope you do as well. Um, uh, and I hope it uh, creates a lot of fun and encourages a lot of uh, angling for the week. Uh, I need to introduce Carol. Is she here? Carol. 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 Uh, uh, thanks. Thanks for the. Uh, Carol's uh, running the cafe, leasing it from, uh, from the fishery. Uh, and our partner Scott. 
Uh, please don't get hypothermic today. I was speaking to John Buchanan the other day and he was saying he was out in a boat with his mate John and he was freezing but he didn't want to say anything because he thought the other his pal John was, was quite happy but John was freezing and he wanted to go in so we both stayed out and got really cold so I don't know what happened to you. Uh, we brought, you probably all heard, we brought the hog roast should be ready about half three uh, to about half five so you can come in a bit early. Come in for lunch or whatever, come and get a heat. Uh, now I'm going to introduce uh, Fra, uh, Fra Wood um, from uh, Kimlockard. Um, she's uh, well known in these parts for her uh, singing and also for her border collie rescue. She was helping me out recently uh, trying to find a home for a, a collie that I know of. Uh, uh, but bef uh, before we actually, sorry, before I actually see officially opens the fishery. Fergus is going to say, is going to explain a bit of competition that he's organising with the council. Um, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, it's great to be here. The last time I was here was in 2009. You remember we had the international fly fishing competition. We had the German team staying on our farm and I was coming back at midnight and could hear them swearing in German as they tried to tie their flies for the following day. <laughs> they were not happy bunnies at all. But it's good to be here. So congratulations from the council on, on what has been done here. Can I just say, 2014 is a very, very big year with a whole lot of events, probably the most important one happening within striking distance of here being the 700th anniversary of the Battle of Bannockburn. What we are trying to organise, and hopefully we'll have the budget together, an international angling festival for 2014 in the second weekend of August. And it will be the first time to bring together all the disciplines of angling. So there'll be a sea angling part to it, uh, carried out in Loch Fine, in collaboration with the National Park. Um, there will be also a course fishing section in North Lanarkshire. There will be the World uh, Weight Casting Competition, which will be held on the athletics field at Stirling University, and a game fishing section in here, all happening the second weekend of August. We've been very generously offered the uh, auction mart, has given us the market basically for three days, so that the bull ring, where the bull sales uh, take place and competitions, will be available to have a huge great exhibition area to bring together all the interested parties, people that manufacture equipment, angling associations, the National Park, whoever else. And also we'll have the, the auction uh, rings, the two auction rings available for any lectures that people want to give on, on specific subjects. So that's all happening in August. Uh, and if it's a great success, we'll run it again from, the, from there on. But I think it's the first time that all the disciplines of angling, including your own, have ever been brought together. And so that's something to look forward to next year as part of the 2014 celebrations. On behalf of the council, can I congratulate you on what's happened here? This is a great success, uh, and I'm sure you're going to go forward to even greater heights with this. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Fergus. That's our, our local council. Uh, behind every good lady, there's a, a good man. No, 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 other way around, behind every good man, there's an even better lady. <laughs> <laughs> I won't hold you back, boys and ladies. Uh, I am so amazed. I did not realise that all this existed down here. I live, as you know, up at Lockhart. Uh, we have lots of fishermen that come and spend the day very happily uh, fishing. But I have done a bit of fishing myself and I totally love the whole aspect of fishing. Um, it's a family thing. It covers all age groups. Uh, it gives you time to be with your friends. So it involves friendship, uh, family life. Uh, I did fishing on Loch Fine. Um, Ferg was fishing for the mackerel and I was rowing the boat. And uh, down in New Zealand, if any of you have ever been there, I did some sea fishing there. I caught a huge great barracuda. It was really great fun bringing it in. I know, it's fantastic. And the main thing is, I am so impressed because living locally and working locally, I know what it's like to keep things going. And I really wish you every success with this because you're keeping uh, employment, you're keeping the, the lake looking good. Um, we have many visitors come to the farm and I know where I will be sending them for, for a day, for a day's entertainment with the family. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to say too is, um, in my life of, of equestrian uh, and uh, working with animals, I know the dedication that's taken and I know that you all get together, you all help each other. So I think your comradeship here is just absolutely wonderful. Um, I wish you all the success today. Uh, plenty of catch and I hope to sample some of it later on oh, along with the, with the barbecue but just before I want to hold you back I wish you every success to the boys and ladies and children if they're any going out I'm just going to I cannot finish without a song because it's going to change my hat and um, <laughs> I do a good line oh 
we had a wonderful guy, I meant to say this, a wonderful guy used to stay with us, Richard Snow, and I was so impressed at your flies. Uh, he used to make them, and I'm so sorry that I didn't put some of them on my hat. And it makes a great line of, of uh, jewellery for women, if you get the lovely flies. But anyway, I'm going to change the hat, and if any of you want a sewester, so, we're rowing, no, motoring along on the lake of Monteith, and the sun is in the sky. <laughs> All our eyes on the distant horizon as the fish go swimming by. Don't mind the weather as long as we are all together. So we're sailing along on the Lake of Monteith and the world is ours. <laughs> I want to, with my my proper role today, I want to officially open the fishing and the lovely, wonderful new clubhouse. Uh, I wish you every success. So you are officially opened. Off you go. Have a wonderful day. See you back with the fish, please. <laughs> What's your prediction, Stan? Oh, I think we'll get some fish. I think uh, we'll get cold. And I think we'll really enjoy the hog roast in the afternoon. And everybody looks good. They're all so keen. To see how it goes. Finish round again. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Sure, mate. <laughs> George, find the boat now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good fish. Mm -hmm. You'll see on there, you'll see the tails. It was fin perfect. It's just in the, the power in the fish, it's much stronger than a stocky. And it's a blue trout, it's not just quite got that. Fin perfect. So, Andy, that's your tea. Excellent. Well done, Greg. Cheers. Well done. Dan's got a fish at last. Sorry, sorry, not, not in the camera. Just a wee scrappy little thing. Nick. There behind you. Oh, look at the stock. My nut. Goodness gracious me! How did that happen? <laughs>
Yeah, it's well mended, but it's it's not as pristine as Greg's fish. They just hate that. The rainbow trout and brown trout are so different. Pick up a brown trout, doesn't care. Just a wee stocky rainbow. Okay. Going back to fight another day. Uh, how far down his neck is this blue <coughs> yellow down? Oh no, it's not bad. Yeah, going back to fight another day. Okay? Whoa! Thanks, pal. Right, I'll... Uh, I'll... Uh, uh, well, it's, it's the same again, I think. Uh, Greg, I'll have to untie. Just on a, Sorry? just on a small, just a, I don't know what it's called actually, just orange, yeah. gold body, just on the bottom. Quint, uh, thanks for having on us on Lake Amenti today. Uh, it's late March, it's the opening. Uh, we've had a great opening ceremony this morning and there's been a few fish caught. But you've been here since 1998 now? Aye, yes, I arrived in uh, June the 1st, 98, uh, and I've learnt a lot about rainbow fishing. I, I, I was, I've been working in, in fish all my years, but uh, never had uh, never been involved in, in with rainbows before or, or with a fishery, so I had quite a steep learning curve, but I knew quite a lot about fish, so that helped. I had I had worked in uh, salmon farming before, but uh, I wasn't my cup of tea. I did learn a lot about fish, but I wasn't happy there and was happier to be uh, working on the sporting side. Uh, I don't know, helping our fish stocks. Um. We've been out there today. We've had, uh, myself and Stan, we've had a good day out in the boat. Uh, we've caught quite a few fish. The, the quality of fish is outstanding, including overwintered fish as well. Do you 
you breed the, the fish yourself and rear them on in the cages on the lock, is that correct? Well, uh, almost correct. Uh, we uh, we buy our fish in from about five five inches up, up to half a pound and grow them onto two pounds. Um, so we don't actually breed the fish uh, here anymore. Um, but we've uh, we've got a supplier uh, relatively close in, in North Yorkshire, where uh, he uh, he's got a well he's he's got artesian uh, well supply, so he's completely disease free. Um, so that's uh, that's really useful to us. It, it's it's not cheap, but we're guaranteed disease free. And you've got the quality. Aye, it? although you've always got to watch for uh, you, you can't keep take your eye off the ball, but uh, yeah. And this season is the first season you've got the new facilities open here. Just tell us a little bit about the fantastic new facilities. Hi, well, we've got uh, we've moved uh, Elma out of her house into the down here. Uh, Elma does the boat booking and permit sales, so she's now got a permit office uh, on site. Uh, we've now got telephone here on site, uh, and uh, my office will be here as well. Uh, so we'll be able to kind of, I think it'll help us in our marketing effort, really. That, uh, and also, we're going to be doing tackle sales as well, mainly end of end of line sales, uh, flies, etc. What else have we got? We've got a big new uh, reception area, weigh-in area, where we're doing a, a, a roast hog today, and that'll be a good gathering point for the anglers. Uh, we've, we've got uh, we've got a new workshop, and we've, we've got a cafe as well, um, a more professional cafe. Um, so I think it's, it's fitting for a, a venue which is holding international competitions and the like. And how many boats have you got on the lock now? Well, we've got 31 or 2 for rental, but for big days we get more in. We've got 40 today. Okay, uh, that's fine. And uh, to book a boat on here, uh, how, much, how much are you looking at? Uh, it depends how many fish you want to kill now, uh, uh, or what time of the week it is as well. During the week... 46 quid for a catch and release ticket at okay. the week at the weekend 54 it goes up okay. and then so okay. I'm trying to that's remember that's a bit in that region uh, anyway. in, that's in that region that's for so a two a two man boat so, and plus you've got and your boat you've got a great motor so it's great value for money and taking into consideration the fish and the scenery it's a great day out Lake Mentees and uh, by far Scotland's principal uh, rainbow trout fishery well we, we try our best and th thanks, thanks very sir. much you're, uh, you're, doing a, you're doing a good job thanks thanks for coming today anytime Quinn. anytime thank you very much pleasure pleasure thank you right. cheers, cheers.